welcome to GrayHairLady.com. This is a place where people of all ages can come and watch and listen to some interesting points of view. This is our story of a generation that changed the world. Nomad, the new sheep. Hello everybody, Gray Hair Lady here, and it's been a while since I've been putting up videos, so this video that we're going to be doing today is a video on taking out the bathtub and taking off the kitchen countertop. And wait till you see the grody and the icky and what it looks like underneath. So um, this is just the process that we have to do. We're going to be replacing the bathtub, as you guys know. I've had this in other videos telling you that that's what we're going to be doing. We have um, BlackRatDomains.com, which is sponsoring this video. And um, just go to BlackRatDomains.com and check them out. And so this is, this is the grody part of what we're doing. And the next thing is to paint it and to get all of the painting done, which is pretty amazing. So uh, catch you guys later. Just connecting the hot and cold because we've got to take out. You guys ready to see that crappy thing? Ready? Slip around here. That means we're going to have to get a new faucet, which I'm okay with. We're going to be taking that out and all of this and holy mackerel. Thanks, Peter. Ew. This is, ew, this is gross. Ew. Ew. It's worse. This was not as bad as the rat droppings that were in here. I'm, uh, Checking to see why this is dropped. But I don't want to replace all of the floor in this area, so let's see what I can do by reinforcing it. It looks good in the day. Yeah, it looks good. It looks dry. Yeah, oh, I was good. worried that it would leak from the kitchen, but it's good. Oh, good. So we don't have to replace the whole floor? No. Nope. Cool. Yeah, well, not even even this bit. So. Cool. We're good. Cool. This counter, what are you going to do to this? <laughs> so we're going to pull the sink out. Uh huh. Remove the, the stove. I'll lift the countertop off and build a brand new one with an extension that actually sits up flush with the rest of the countertop. Unfortunately, we can't take all the cabinets out. Not this time. So the design is going to have to stay the same. But it'll look a lot cleaner. And it'll certainly be a lot more hygienic than this. Yeah, that's pretty. It's all lifting. Yep. So. I wouldn't live in it, so I wouldn't expect you to live in it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And we're going to need a new, a new tap as well. Mm, yeah. Something that comes up a little bit higher so that you can get stuff underneath it because this is very low. Yeah. So it's not very practical. So maybe one that lifts up higher than this. That and should be an easy fix. And you're gonna let me keep the stove and the burners for right now. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to, but I know. from a financial point of view, then it makes more sense. Yeah. I'd like to put a smaller one in there and get rid of the oven if you'll never use it. But, uh, right now, we've got to think of what's possible, and uh, that's just one of those things that we're gonna have to live with for now. Thank you. Let's. I'm um, kind of scared. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay. Then some little brackets yeah which are not difficult to put in it's just the location of them and the fact that it's a very very tight space because there's nowhere to get underneath the sink here given that we've just got small cabinet it's made for small habit people like me it's yeah probably <laughs> and explain why we're changing the, the countertop because it's pretty this gross. one is Kind of gross and it's but it's basically coming apart so I'll, I'll put in a brand new countertop and uh, put some wood trim around it to make it look nice and easy to easy to keep clean but this one certainly needs replacing thankfully the sink is in good working order so back when you lift that up. I yeah. don't sit here and watch you struggle that much, but this kind of fun. <laughs> Connected the waistline and done the clips, so this should. Just pop out. Ew, more hair. Oh, more crap. Oh. Yeah. Welcome to the world of plumbing. 
Ugh. Well, look how dusty and dirty that is. I guess I got cleaning to do, right? A little bit. Yeah, I get I get all the cleaning. You get the fun jobs. I get the fun cleaning job. Wow, that's what it looks like. Yay. So down there was where water was dripping? Yeah, so the drawers came in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me grab one so you can see it. So this is the water damage for the drawers. Oh wow. This is the worst. They're all uh, they're all water damaged, so I'm gonna have to build new drawers for it. And it was pretty much because the the drainer wasn't attached properly. So I'm guessing it was all running down the side of the underneath the drainer and dripping into the sinks. And is it on the floor down there too? There's a little bit, but it's thankfully it's uh, there's really not much. Yeah. There's really not much, so the the drawers took the brunt of it. Yeah. Which is a good thing, long run. So we gotta get these off. Did you didn't blow up? What? <laughs> <laughs> didn't what? Blow up. You didn't blow up? Didn't blow up. No. <laughs> couldn't get it to work. So you we, couldn't get it to work? We don't even know if there's propane in it. So. I, probably, I doubt it, but we do have a tank in the backyard if you want to try it, a little tank. No, because I can't get the, the connectors are different. This is all hard plumbing. So you're gonna have to go with me to get propane to drive it. All the pain of all that's attached to the truck. Huh? Yeah, yeah. We got to figure out the generator. Well, I gotta go. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, forwarded a gift to you. Here's a couple more lighters. Oh, thank Don't you. Don't blow yourself up. <laughs> He's unscrewing this here. Enough. Yeah, we just connected the propane. Mm -hmm. Made sure to turn it off first. Disconnected the propane. Yeah. Four screws came out and. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything just slides out. You don't have to worry about wires or anything else? No, there's no. Wow. It's not connected to anything electrically. So, there you go. There's all the plumbing behind. So that's my cleaning job. That's your cleaning job. I got a lot of cleaning to do because we want to make sure the place is clean. Yep. Woo! Alright, so we'll move this to one side and... Um, okay. You want to move? Whoa! Cool. One more thing out. So the next thing to do is to take this... Yep. I'm going to get the camera. Wow, we're like gutting the fucker. Toxic too, isn't it? Can we leave left? Oh my god! Yeah, that's why I wouldn't want to leave it on you. I wonder if that's the reason why I'm having such a bad time breathing because I've been in here breathing all this shit. Well, wow. So this has been in here since 1987, since when they built it. So what happens to people who don't do all this and they don't realize they have all this problem? They get sick and they don't know why.
We're really fortunate there's not more water damage. I can't imagine somebody, I mean, which is amazing when I walked in here, I, di I didn't smell any of the normal smells that you smell. Wow, look at this. Look at this, you guys. This is like empty. This is scary. Let's see inside there. There's mice droppings in here. So, my job is to clean up all the shit. And people are finding, they're finding lots of that underneath this. People are, they must like peanuts. Okay. This is fucking awesome. Okay, great hair lady. Your turn. My turn? Your turn. <laughs> to clean. Yep. And I gotta go and build you a new countertop. <laughs> 